everyone, welcome back to Handmade. I'm AV. We all know tie-dye is still the wave, but do you know about ice dyeing? It's its much cooler cousin. Many people are tie-dyeing or ice dyeing clothing, but we are going to do it on napkins. Let me show you how. You're probably wondering, what is ice dyeing? Well, ice dyeing is the technique that you use. You take your material, in this case our napkin, you have it folded, you put ice on it, then you put some powder dye and you let the ice melt. The ice will help create the patterns with the dye and then you just rinse, wash, and dry. I'm going to show you four different ways to fold your napkins so you can get a nice look with your ice dyeing. This is our ice dyeing take on shibori. So you're going to fold like this, just folding back and forth. Fold and then fold over. And fold and fold over, just like this. So you end up kind of like with a rectangular strip. And then you're going to fold over once and fold backwards and fold forward and fold backwards. Now with ice dyeing, you can put a rubber band around it or you can just leave it organically. This time I'm going to put the rubber band, but just one. All right. Next up, I'm going to show you, it's like a triangle. So we're going to fold this in half like so. Fold it in half again. And guess what? We're gonna fold it in half again. And guess what again? <laughs> We're going to fold it in half. Do you think we can get one more half in here? I think so. Bam! Triangle. Next, going to do a crumple. And guess what? It's just like this. Crumpling it up. This is going to give us our most organic shape because we crumpled it. A rubber band to hold it together. The rubber bands are completely optional. If you would like to just put a lot of ice on it and let it like weigh down on it, that can work as well. But I do like a little bit of structure to my ice dyeing. Organized chaos. The last one, we're gonna just do a simple twist and turn. So it's gonna twist until it's into a circle. I find it easiest to twist while I'm turning it into itself. Like you can twist the whole thing and then turn it, but that makes it a little bit more cumbersome. I wanna keep twisting and turning until it looks like you know, cinnamon roll. Ah, a cinnamon roll. That sounds delicious right now. Put a rubber band just to hold it. Now, let's get some ice. So you take our first napkin. I have these little cardboard strips that I made to help contain the ice. And what you do is, right, here's the magic. You just put ice all in there, kind of like a bed of ice. Just get it all in there. The nooks and crannies. You want your material to be completely covered with ice. Pow. And another one, because I like it. So, you take your powder dye, and the awesome part about powder dye is that it is mixed with a lot of different colors to create the hue and shade. So, when the ice melts, it can give you some unpredictable results, making it really organic. So if you look closely enough, right, like this is a yellowish lime tint, you can see little speckles of a darker green. So, and that's gonna show up in our napkin. For this project, I like to keep the colors complementary because the pattern, I'm not sure what it's gonna look like, but the colors will tie it all in. You can add larger pieces of ice and smaller just to, you know, play with the pattern. Our crumple one. I'm really excited for how this one's going to turn out. 
Ooh, look at that. It has a little bit more uh, blue involved. Last but certainly not least, our twist and turn. I think this one is going to have like the most contrasting lines. That's just my guess. And hmm, I'm gonna add more yellow to this one. Let's just add a little bit more. Just a little bit. Razzle and dazzle. Okay, now we are going to let this melt and see what happens. It's been about two hours and our ice is completely melted. I cannot wait to see what these look like, shall we? All right, here is our shibori. I do a little light squeeze out. Ooh, it's looking green. Fold, fold out, fold out. Look how beautiful this is. Like, ah, oh, the colors. And you see like the little blue dots in the center. And then there's like a whole different pattern on the bottom. Oh, love it. Next up is our triangle. Okay. Remember, I put a little bit more yellow on this. So we're going to see. Ooh. I love the colors. It's really good. This is gonna look perfect on the table. Can't wait. Next up is our crumple. Okay. Ooh, I really like how this crumple turned out. There is more white space like on the edges and I think that can be a really nice detail when it's on our table. Last but not least, once again, it is our twist and turn honey bun situation. We are twisting and we are turning in the opposite direction. Here it goes, here it goes. So with this one, this one actually had a little bit more ice on it. So you can see some of the colors are a bit softer. And I think that's a really pretty detail. Can't wait. So now it's time to rinse, wash, and dry these. Then we're putting it on our table. This was such a fun project. Which pattern did you like the most? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you later. Welcome back to Handmade. My name is AV and today we're gonna talk about dyeing. No, we're not, because that sounds more <laughs> <laughs> Man, you know what it was too? That's good. Yeah. <laughs>